unlocking the all new sand shark, but I'm pretty sure this is not a sand shark that you've seen before. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Kean, and I'm a pug in the water, in the ocean. We are playing as the illustrious and majestic pug boast today because we need to unlock the new sand shark. But this sand shark is not like any sand shark that I've seen before. He looks like an alien, straight up. But I'm excited to unlock it. So we got to play as, as Pugbo. So I think that's got to be fun because, I mean, who doesn't love a dog that lives in the ocean? Literally can breathe underwater, not to mention jet propulsion. It's It's his thing. It's what he does, and it's very, very beautiful in his own little Pugbos way. So, of course, what we're gonna do is eat. It's what Pugbos do. We're gonna start out with a little appetizer, of course. Starfish. Yummy. Do people eat, like, actual starfish? I imagine that there's somebody out there that enjoys eating starfish, but like, I don't know, cause what is a starfish? Like, if you cook it up, is it, is it gonna get like real hard? Or is it gonna be like real squishy? Cause I don't think either of those things are particularly pleasant when you think about it. Have I ever eaten a starfish? Clearly no. Have I eaten starfish and feed and grow fish? <laughs> It's like the thing that I've eaten the most of ever. Safe to say. That and probably sea urchins. And possibly whale sharks. I've eaten a lot of whale sharks and I'm sorry. Level three Pugbos. Do not underestimate the power of Pugbos. He looks innocent. He looks cute. And he looks cuddly. But don't let that fool you. He's a monster. I've seen what he's capable of, and it's actually pretty impressive. Now, we are leveling up at kind of an alarming rate, I would say. We're approaching level five. I'm, I'm pretty sure this will get us to level five. Yeah. So here's the question. Is a level five Pugbos able to take down bigger prey than, like, a starfish? I, I think I saw a crab. There's a crab. Hello? I saw you crawling around here. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You think you're sneaky? No, Pugbos found you and Pugbos eat you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little crab. You didn't even do anything. You didn't deserve this, but you're delicious. Now, unlike starfish, I have eaten crab in real life and can confirm delicious. Although maybe this is a hot take. I don't know. I don't think crab is worth the effort to eat it. That's right. I know it's delicious, but actually getting to to the delicious crabbiness of it is is an absolute pain. I know that like there's certain techniques that people use to crack the legs and stuff like that in a very effective and efficient way. Listen, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I just look like a toddler playing with one of those plastic construction sets. I'm just like swinging hammers and, and bopping things and getting frustrated. It's not a good look, but at least I had the cool bib. You gotta wear the bib when you're eating crab. <laughs> Speaking of crab, let's eat. Oh, dude, I, I, I just pushed him away with my sheer willpower. That was crazy. <laughs> she knocked him over. That's, see, that's the kind of power that Pugbos has. Like I said, do not underestimate this face. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's hard to be scared of that face, though. I mean, look at it. All right, let's continue eating. We're nearly level six. What's that? It's a shrimp. These shrimp are scary though, cause they're the they're the like the punching ones. I saw a dude on TikTok that actually has one of these in an aquarium, and he'll like drop stuff into it and film it like a like a boxing match, <laughs> a very one-sided boxing match. That little shrimp will just eviscerate its prey with the most violent punches. It's just like the thing like zooms over and then it's just like. 
and then it's eating. It, it takes it away to its little cave. So I'm gonna do something stupid, and I'm gonna fight it. Okay, Pugbos can take down scary boxing shrimp. Are these the scary boxing? Yeah, yeah, these are the scary boxing shrimp. Look at him. He's punching. He's punching. He's wailing. He's putting up a fight. He's <gasps> dead. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and eat you as well. Yum. Delicious. Shrimp, I, you know, I, I like shrimp. Deep fried in a coconut batter. Ooh. That's some good stuff with like a like a kind of sweet and sour sauce. Oh my gosh. Now that's some serious seafood. I don't know why I'm talking so much about seafood. Okay, level eight. I feel like I could I could do some serious damage. Although I could just go over to the starfish and eat it and get XP with no concern of dying. So there's that, but also like Ooh, free meat? Well, I was gonna say is there's definitely much better sources of XP out there. The problem is, is that they're around things that will eat me. What are you? You're a shark? I do not want you to see me. So I'm just gonna toot my way out of here. <laughs> now this thing, I think we could take this thing. Remember, they're not that scary as long as you stay behind them. The problem is, is that they have armor in the front, and then when you bite them, things get a little wonky. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, chew. Chew, little buddy. Look at that. Look at that damage stacking up. Okay, okay, we're doing great. We're doing great. Keep it up. But Pugbos, it died instantly. Perhaps I was a little too ambitious, <laughs> I guess. Oops. Let's give it another shot. Okay, it spawned us in the dark depths, which is really scary because um, do keep in mind that some of these little blue speckles are actually anglerfish that will kill me probably instantly. So I'm going to keep risking it. I'm going to keep playing Pac-Man with basically poison. Could you imagine a game of Pac-Man where he's eating a bunch of pellets, but one of them is made of death. That's what we're doing right now. Very stupid. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, why? Oh. oh, okay. Yep. There's definitely some moving. How have I made it this far without getting eaten by an angler fish, dude? I have no idea. I think we managed to eat all of them. There's only angler fish left, unless this one. Get it, get it, get it. And then just zip out of there. Ooh, that was a little spicy, but that was kind of fun. What about you, a nautilus? Can I, can I eat a nautilus? I could probably eat a nautilus. I'm definitely chewing on it. I don't know how much health you have. I don't feel like I'm doing that much damage, but if you die in a decent amount of time. Hey, I think actually we took it down. All right, give me the XP, XP, XP. I'm here for the XP. There we go. And then we level up. Nice. And there's another one, level three, but like really close to level four. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Play it cool. Don't panic. Just be cool. Be cool. Just chomp this thing down. Play it cool. Don't bring any attention to yourself. So the, here's the, the fear that I have. I've become one with the giant slab of meat. Okay, we got through it. Um, what I was saying, though, is that as soon as, like, a big predator catches on that there's a giant slab of free meat just floating around, he would eat that. And I was inside of it. So guess who would get eaten along with it? Yeah, I think you figured it out. Fortunately, that didn't happen. And now we're back to where we were pretty much within seconds. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Level eight. I learned my lesson. Don't go after the Titan, Titanicus, I think is the name of that thing. Go for, you know, slightly smaller creatures maybe a giant crab this is gonna be a fight oh yeah this is an actual battle he's he's putting up a, a fight 
Okay, okay. Chill. Bro. You're done. You're done. I win. To the victor go the spoils. Another one. Let's do this. I can't see anything. I'm just watching my health, making sure that my health doesn't get too low. This is kind of scary. We've got quite the buffet of giant crabs right now. So I'm just going to keep taking advantage of this. Hello. I'm going to eat. Oh, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you do? Why? Why would you do that? Holy cow. Did you see how much health we had left? It was um just about zero. That Mahi Mahi came straight for me. Didn't stand a chance for the record. He probably got like five or six bites in before I even knew what was happening. We still took him down though. That was awesome. I feel pretty good about that. And we gained like quite a bit of XP from that encounter. Bring it on Mahi Mahi, where are you at? I want another one. No? Coward. He learned his lesson, maybe. So level 14. Just about level 15. We'll be level 15 as soon as we kill this crap. Do you think we should go after whale sharks? I don't know. The thing about whale sharks is that they're very docile and innocent looking, but they can just hoover you right up. If you're too small, they will eat you in an instant. Much like what happened to us when we were uh, trying to eat the Titan. It, it did not end well for us. So... Maybe instead of going straight for the whale shark, we look for a titan and then we eat that. That's a, that's a titan. That's a megalodon. Okay, so obviously I don't want to go that way. Ah, my nemesis. The mahi mahi. And we take him down. Oh, and there's a titan. Okay. Oh, this, this dude doesn't stand a chance. I'm sorry. Almost feels bad. Okay, you, you scare me a little bit because you killed me. But this time, oh my gosh, look at how much damage we're doing. Oh man, the last time, okay, that hurt still. I I would prefer that you didn't do that. I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> man, all right, that guy's got a decent bite. I was gonna say, the last time we fought this thing, we were doing like 15 damage every single bite. Now we're doing like 50, but he still kind of terrifies me. Okay, I don't have anything to fear because now he's dead. Good, 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 good. Eat, eat faster. There you go, level 23. That's what I'm talking about. I think we're looking pretty good. As long as like Megalodon or Prognathodon don't show up suddenly, we're okay. Ichthyosaurus? I'll eat you. Yeah, there you go. All right, solid XP. Styxosaurus we can work with. Definitely the dumbest creature in the ocean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you've been given that title, but you kind of earned it. Oh no, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do this, but I'm forced into it because he's coming after me. So I'm going to fight a great white shark and probably die very fast. Okay, nope, I didn't die. I did not die. It died. I'm the best. But we lived, and we got a ton of XP for that. We eat Styxosaurus. Yes. I'm still looking for whale sharks, but I keep running into other things that are also good XP. An angler fish? I'm sorry, man, but you gotta go. That's Megalodon. And he's gonna come straight for me because I'm big and worth a lot of XP, isn't he? No? He didn't catch the scent? Okay, we're okay for now. Let's not go over there. Megalodon is our end goal. We need to take him out to unlock the sand shark. However, I don't think we're ready for that. Now this thing, this thing, a Titan, we can eat that for sure. Thank you. Thank you for the XP. I appreciate your sacrifice. Ooh, what's down there? Free food? I'll take it. Whale sharks. The time has come. Our ascension shall begin. <laughs> the whale sharks are such good XP. It's, it's a cheat code. It's literally a cheat code. It's too good. I'm gonna eat these whales. Because they're here. Yeah, all right. Get eaten. 
all of you getting chomped. You guys are actually fighting back? Oh, that's cute. No chance. No chance. Should we take on the, uh, the Arctic Whale? I think we can. Can I eat these guys whole? No. Not quite that big. But we can one-shot them. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, we might actually be ready at this point to take on Megalodon. But I don't necessarily want to risk it if I don't have to. This is a good test. Although, admittedly, this guy is not nearly as aggressive or quick as Megalodon. So a lot of times you can bite him before he can even get one bite in. Whereas Megalodon can attack pretty fast. Um, but pff, this dude's not standing a chance. There's no chance, man. I think we're we're either one or two-shotting him. Let's see. One shot. Okay, so he's still alive. No, now he's getting one shot. Ooh, okay. He bit me. How dare you? He just keeps coming back to feed me. Okay, level 83 Pugbos. I think we're good. Oh, Prognathodon. I've missed you. I haven't even seen you this entire time. There you go. It was great to see you for half a second and then turn you into XP. Is that him? Yes, it is. Look at this guy. He's so little. You're so cute. And now you're dead. Boom. Achievement unlocked. Sand shark. What the heck? Okay, I didn't realize that you didn't really have like a fin. What is your face? Oh my gosh. This thing is awesome looking. Why do you have four eyes? This is an alien, right? Like this is not a sand shark from Earth. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, excuse me, I'm level one? I just realized I have 2,300 health. Uh, what? Alien sand shark? Kinda OP. And you know what? I'm okay with it. He's got a very, very slow bite though. So that I guess is a, is a minor disadvantage, I would say. Um... But the fact that I have this much health at level three is stupid. Also, you guys see how many coins we have? 17,000? Well, we're approaching 17,000. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. Let's level this dude up. Oh, he's so zippy too. Who left this here? Because I'm taking it. Dude. That's a pretty scary bite for something that's only level six, seven, whatever. Level eight. We're still going. Uh, excuse me. I found this free XP and you guys just waltz over here and try to take it from the guy who clearly didn't earn it, but found it first. It's kind of messed up, guys. Also, I'm doing an insane amount of damage so my initial bite does like i don't know i think it was like 300 something damage but then he does the shark thing you know because he's a sand shark from another planet so he does the shake every time he does that shake is 99 damage and also we just leveled up like three or four times so now we're going to be doing even more damage <laughs> whale shark do i go for it i think i'm big enough oh i'm definitely big enough <laughs> That is scary. This guy is very scary and leveling up at a rate that should cause some concern. I love the way he moves too. He's just kind of dopey, but very scary. Let's see if we can, we can do a little jump. I love it. It's incredible. Goodbye, Chronosaurus. Another Chronosaurus, dead. Super, super dead. I have 23,000 health. Excuse me? That is uh, too much health. You need to be stopped. Let's go find some bosses. There's a boss. Let's see how tough he is. Hey. Okay. We one-shot him. Yeah. Not so tough, turns out. I'm getting too big. I can't see. Oh, gosh. Oh, 
there's so much XP just floating around right now because I can't eat it quickly enough. Because he keeps popping up. Oh my gosh, I'm blinded. I'm blinded. I gotta get out of here. I can't see anything. Oh, Prognathanol. Where are you? There you are. Oh. Oh. 7,000 damage from one bite. Yeah. That's pretty good. Is that my buddy? Oh, oh, it's both of my buddies. Hey guys, I want to play. Did I play? <laughs> I just killed them both in one bite. This is definitely one of the coolest creatures that has recently been added to Feed and Grow Fish. More please.